What an eventful day it shall be. Give me just a minute while I finish setting up. I was debating whether to have just traditional mansion basement music or this. And this one out in the end. All right. So, here is the game plan. I have four games. Uh, none of them cost more than a dollar. Thanks, Steam Sale. I think that in total, including sales tax for my region, I paid less than $2.50 for all four of these games together. It feels like I haven't done a fearless stream in like half a year. Probably because I haven't done a fearless stream in half a year. Hi, Harhide. Anyway, let's cut the music and just get into this because... I mean, this could be a long night. It could be a very short night. I never know with these games. Hey, hobo. First fearless dream. Uh, this is either going to go bad or it's going to go poorly. There's no in between. Alright, let me switch over to the screen, get the first game running. Oh, and before I do that, let me get out the stopwatch to make sure that I do not go over the limit. God damn it, first thing I see is made with Unity. I guess I should be glad it's not Unity Personal Edition at least. Hi Tiger Jamaro. And hello to you too. as high as it'll go. Oh, there's an ultra setting. I want the best possible experience from this. I'm gonna bump these down just a little bit. It's a little loud in my headphones. Alright. Let's dive right in. Well, the loading bar started at 54%, so I'm encouraged by that. I'm not encouraged anymore. Why is that Warhammer 40k guy on the monitor? <laughs> it's like we're loading up a Jeopardy question. So am I going to be given any sort of context? Yeah. 
Um... What am I supposed to feel right now? Maybe if... Okay. I don't think it's working. Something around the office. Oh, one of those turned on. Whatever. It's taken. Holy shit, that's a giant handprint. How many people do you know whose hands are as big as a fucking cabinet door? Oh, I take it I'm supposed to pay attention to that. Wait, what? What? Oh, shit. I... Well, we successfully clipped through part of the furniture, at least. Oh, jeez. Um, we came up with this stupid game. Are you breaking the fourth wall? So, the English is better in this game, but it's not much better. Uh, shit. <laughs> okay, basic math puzzle. So... 35 plus nice is 104. 104 plus 94 is 198. Can I go now? Oh yeah, I completely glossed over that. Cancer disease. You're gonna make me write this shit down, aren't you? Zero. 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 Zero, zero, zero. Four, seven, one. Four, seven, one. Are you kidding me? Zero. 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 Four, seven, one. This is the true horror. He only knows four numbers.
What a waste of time. Are you supposed to be scared? I don't know at this point. Your superiors, you're trying to add extra layers of intrigue to this? I didn't see anything? Oh, pfft. Well, fuck that tape recorder. The Japanese description of the Donkey Kong Country. What am I supposed to do? Oh, did the tape recorder spawn back in place? Yeah, I guess we're just doing this shit again. Wh oh. For a moment, I thought he was going to get up upside down and do a headstand the rest of the game. Uh, I can't move. Oh, the Japanese dub. Sorry, my chat window got cut off partially. I still can't move. Oh, I had to go through the fucking options menu to get it working again. All right. Great, more shit I gotta write down. Hold on. Wait right there. Screw this. Now, using the same quote-unquote voice for a bunch of different characters is not really a good idea for a game like this. Almost as bad as not making sure the textures on the corners of the screen line up. Then you get janky lighting effects like in the upper left corner.
This is the second math puzzle in the game so far. Which even as someone who's okay with math, that's too many. Okay, I got this. It's just adding the previous two numbers to get the next number. So, that would be 89. Images provide helpful suggestions. I beg to differ. Precisely, rated M for math. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to get any sort of hints for this. So, what the fuck ever. Is this where we get knocked out again? Or go through the space door on the monitor? Something? Oh. Disembodied voice of woman crying. If you have that on your bingo sheet, mark it off. Yeah, it's the same shit. Oh, if this is hinting at what I think it's hinting at, this game can go fuck itself. Alright, let's see if this is doing the dumb shit that I think it is. Maybe, maybe not. It's... It's not letting me select hint 2. It's spelling out project. And it says New York. Just give me the dates around World War II. What else would it be? Oh, it had, I had to type project as well. That's how you know you've got a great game on your hands.
Something tells me that they are not going to handle this moment in history particularly well, or with any sort of grace. Ah, shit. Okay, this I don't remember. Let's just open up Manhattan Project on Wikipedia. Yeah, I know two were dropped, but I can't remember how many were actually developed. We'll just go with two. This is gonna be dumb, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's dumb. Anyway. Perhaps I need to search them. Wait, who said that? Was that us? Is this supposed to be an educational horror game? Oh, how could you miss it? He's just thinking what this guy's note says. math or something? I hope this game realizes that all of these references it's trying to make are going over the head of anyone who didn't actively study the Manhattan- <laughs> Group hug! I remember you, General Groves. You never had a distinguished mind. That's why I'm not surprised- I remember you, Victor. 
you I remember I remember I remember I remember I remember I remember you I remember you General Grove I remember I remember you I remember I remember you I remember I remember I remember you I remember I remember you I remember you I remember you I remember 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 you I remember I remember you John I've always I remember you General Groves you never had a distinguished mind that's why I'm not surprised that you didn't notice my escape people like you forced our world to a dead end and you are at fault for what happened, not me. I say your name, Leslie Richard Groves. I remember you, Victor. You old I remember you, John. I remember you. I remember I remember I just want to do an I remember remix. I remember you. I remember I remember I remember I remember I remember I remember you. 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 I remember you, General Groves. You never had a distinct I remember you, Victor. You always stick to their opinion. I remember you, John. I've always admired your mind, despite the fact that you considered us equal. I don't understand how you could work on this project without a shadow of a doubt in what we do. That's all your vanity, John. I remember you, General Groves. You never had a distinguished mind. That's why I'm not surprised that you didn't notice my escape. People like you forced our world. I remember you, Victor. You I mean, stick to the opinion that every disagreement can be solved peacefully, but the project we participated in excludes in itself the possibility of a peaceful coexistence. I'm so sorry I betrayed you. I say your name, Victor Frederick Weisskopf. His voice has kind of a Christopher Walken quality to it. Sorry, I'm doing a quick search of some of these names and work on this project without a shadow of a doubt in what we do. That's all your vanity, John. No doubt. Your name is John Von Neumann. So even after looking up the names of all these guys, it really does not help with determining the answer of this at all. I'm just gonna say fuck it and go for Victor, unless anyone has any objections. I'm going to take that as no objections, so fuck it.
I remember you, John. I've always admired Whatever. You, despite the fact that you considered us equal. I don't understand how you could work on this project without a That's impressive. What we do. That's all you being able to speak while being horrifically burned to death. So casually. All right, there's a continue option. Let's see what this does. Uh, hmm. This doesn't help either. Oh god, it just keeps going. Okay, this game is trying to do at least four different things, and it is not succeeding at either of them. Pick one thing, focus on it, do it well. Well, at least we live to a nice, tender old age. <laughs> okay. Poll in the chat. Did this game stop trying yet? Yes. Yes, it did. Oh my god, the story won't stop. You see, normally, you got a 95% chance of dying when you play this game. But we're a genetic freak, and we're not normal, and we know math. So we actually got a 5% chance when you You see, you got a 2% chance that your teammates fail mistaken and expose all research station. Okay, I cannot keep that voice up. <clears throat> I do not know how Scott Steiner does it. Project never even dreamed of. I realized I wanted. I realized I wanted to create. I realized I wanted. I realized I wanted to create the most. My God. That my colleagues and project never even dreamed of. I started my work on more powerful bombs, but all we made was the Ivy Mike thermonuclear bomb. During the test, we accidentally triggered the effect of a self-maintaining thermonuclear reaction in the atmosphere. 
This fully destroyed most of the oxygen on the earth and burned a large number of people to death. The rest of my life, I lived in a Soviet bunker eating canned food. But the view of that explosion, it was really worth it. So, I can't even pick the last option, apparently. Oh, I just... I could only select it from here. The wrong way. We all were mistaken. Socialism is the only formation under which the world can be a single entity. I escaped to the USSR and gave them all the information. I'll just pick the longest one. Fuck it. I have no regrets for what I've done. The world had gone mad and deserved what happened to it. Do whatever you want, but I don't want to return. Screw it. I regret what I've done. I just tried to create a better world for humanity. I believe my actions would bring peace. I was mistaken. I regret what I've done. I guess I overestimated my potential and used all my knowledge wrong. My actions, deliberate or not, caused a tremendous number of casualties. I have no excuse. You know what I just realized his acting reminds me of? I regret what I've done. I guess I overestimated my I regret what I've done. I'm fed up with this world. My actions, deliberate or not, caused a tremendous number of casualties. I have no excuse. I regret what I've done. I have no regrets. I have no regrets. I regret what I've done. I regret what I've done. I guess I overestimated my potential. Wait, it gave me the achievement for clicking this one, but nothing happened. Caused a tremendous number of casualties. I have no regrets. I have I regret what I've done. I just tr I have no regrets for what I've done. I have no regrets for what So I just unlocked all the achievements. I operated under I regret what I've done. I guess I overestimated my potential and used all my knowledge wrong. My actions, deliberate or not, caused a tremendous number of casualties. I have no excuse. Uh, nothing is happening. I've picked all of these options. Oh god, he's monologuing through the pause menu. I can't get out of this fucking screen. I regret what I've done. I regret what I've done. I guess I overestimated my potential and used all my knowledge wrong. My actions, deliberate or not, caused a tremendous number of casualties. I have no excuse. I regret what I've done. I guess I overestimated my potential and used all my knowledge wrong. I, I, I can't get past this screen? Caused a tremendous number of casualties. I have no excuse. I regret what I've done. I have no regrets for I have no regrets for what I've I regret what I've done. I just tried to create What do you want from me, game? Humanity. I regret what I've done. I guess I overestimated my potential and used all my knowledge wrong. My actions, deliberate or not, caused a tremendous number of casualties. I have no excuse. I mean You know what? That screen in the background did say, the end of the story. Let's just call that the end of the game. Unless continuing somehow makes this better? Alright, give me the spook! Oh wow, it didn't even do that this time. I, w I realized that our government lied to us. And the real aim of the Manhattan pro I have no regret- I regret what I've done. I guess I overestimated my potential. I have no reg I have no regret- I regret what I've done. I just- I regret what I've done. Yeah, this isn't working. Fuck it, we're done. Jeez.
Well, that was a unique way to fuck up a game. I regret... I regret playing the game. I saw that it was on sale on Steam and I just decided to go for it, figuring it was a low-risk investment. I have no excuse. So, I'm gonna set up the next one. Give me just a second. So, let's move on to whatever this is. Is it gonna show? Oh! <laughs> well, I was gonna say, is this gonna show up on stream? Man, Silent Hill Origins looks different than I remember it. So, I do not like the looks of this. I mean, I don't like the looks of this either, but I do not like the looks of this, particularly because this one isn't in English. Okay, I don't know why there's an option to turn the sound off in the middle of these menu options. I, you wanna do wave one? Let's do wave one. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Holy shit, those are slow bullets. Uh, the enemies just decided to avoid me? I can't shoot them because they're too low to the ground. Oh wait. Wait, how did I hit that one? Oh, I had to shoot a couple feet to the right of it, of course. the big guns now. Oh, that is pitiful. Time for two wave. Is there a reload? No, there's not a reload option. Oh, we hit the three wave, boys. Goat? So, how many of these enemies are in this game just because it was whatever the creator of this could find? And I use the term creator very loosely. Copy paster might be a little more appropriate.
So, at what point does this stop so I can, like, buy upgrades? Yeah, can't do it in the pause menu. Oh, there's a boss. Is that what we're on now? No. I think there are some clipping issues with some of the enemies. Wait, so what does this bar mean? I... I I'm really confused. So there's a boss at some point, but just no idea when that would be. Oh, that's great how the weapon just automatically changes when you pick it up. Even if it's a worse weapon. Contra Road Core looks worse than you thought. Hey, I will have you know. Konami put as much effort into this as they did into uh, Road Core. Also, where are the enemies? Oh, there they are. So... Are the enemies taking a long time to appear because he just made this big-ass map and then all the spawn points were, like, in one particular area? So if you don't stay there, they take a really long time to show up? Is it bad that I'm already bored? God, playing this feels like watching a YouTube video at 75% speed. I keep instinctively trying to reload, even though that's not a thing. Okay, I do need the ammo. HD Oregon tri No. It's unrealistic because... If this were HD Oregon Trail, we would kill all of this and then only be able to carry 200 pounds of the meat back. Are we there yet?
Wow. The rifle has a very short range, too. Whew. That was heart pounding. The action, the tension. Please tell me the 10's the last one. Oh, they just upscaled all the enemies. Great. That's... Wonderful. Wait, is that just a fucking, like, snow leopard or something? I couldn't realize that because it was smaller before, but... Oh wait, no, it's like a bobcat type thing? A lynx, maybe? And the upscaled enemies aren't any stronger, they just... You know, take the same amount of damage, inflict the same amount of damage. Oh wait, now we're at wave 11. When does this end? Oh my god. There's gonna be like 40 waves of this shit. Look how... Ugh. I don't think I can do this. Can I go now? Yeah, take that, ragdoll. I'll stretch all your limbs. warp very easily when you walk over them.
Is this the game that Kojima was teasing? Oh, you, you can actually see the enemies just pop in out of nothing. Also, I think we actually hit the edge of the map. I didn't know if we'd ever see this. Ah! Ah! Um... Well... We have a new ability. Oh no, he just forgot to put collision detection on that. The enemies are confused. Oh, we have cracked the code. <laughs> well, I I can't say I was expecting this. Can I get out? Oh, I can get out. There's one enemy somewhere on the map. Oh, can I get back in? Okay, I can't get back in through here. Was that just a one-time thing, or is it legit part of the wall he forgot to put collision detection on? Oh! There is collision detection, but you can brute force your way through it very easily. Gun sounds like distorted hole puncher. You may actually not be too far off. So, where is this straggler? Oh my- I just realized. Look at our walking animation. Watch what our feet do. You see that shit? That is so unnatural. <sighs> what do you think? Are we actually going to find this one enemy? Somewhere on this big ass map? Also, yeah, I can't run. So this is as fast as we're going to explore. Wait, can you... Sorry, it's experiment time. Because if I was able to clip through that so easily... I'm willing to bet that there are other parts of the environment that you can also clip through with just minimal effort. We ran out of ambient track. Well, that said plus 50, but it added 100 bullets to my inventory. 
th this might take a while. Yes. Yes, we can. Si se puede. Oh, can we clip off of the map? Oh, we are close. This... We did it! Believe it or not, I am walking on air. I never thought... This character whose name I've already forgotten could be so free. This is certainly going places I did not expect it to. And yes, I did have to phrase it exactly like that. So we have outrun the snow effect. We've outrun the goddamn map. We are spiraling off into the void. So, I'm just going to say that this is the UFO ending for this game, and that we won. If all of you are okay with that. Which I assume you are. Oh, the snow came back for a moment. Hold on. I'm gonna empty my firearm. Because I want to see if it'll switch over to one of the other guns that I have. Or if when you pick up a new weapon, you just drop everything else that you had. I never realized how efficient this guy was. He has no reload animation. Okay, almost there. I just realized our aiming reticle is getting very nervous. It's okay, buddy. Don't worry. Oh, it switched you over to the pistol so fast that it didn't even change the icon in the upper left. Alright, so we completely and utterly broke this game. I'm calling that a victory. Part of me is curious, like, if I kept going with this, if the aiming reticule would just start bouncing around more and more and become really distorted. But I don't want to dedicate that kind of time to this. Oh!
I mean, I guess we can upgrade now. Huh. Man, I wish Nick was here to help translate this for me. Let's just upgrade Billy a bit. There. You did well, Billy. But now it's time to move on. So, I wasn't expecting to be able to break that so easily. Oh yeah, I had a hard time with health. I got hit once that entire time. So, let's move on to game number three. Which I think is this one? Yes, it's this one. All right. Okay, please cooperate. I'm asking nicely. All right, the window's not displaying yet. But I can tell you, the good news is this isn't Unity Engine. Bad news is it's Cry Engine. Wait, what was that sound? Speaking of sound, I can't hear anything. What is going on? Is it going to the wrong audio device? No. Then why is there no audio? Ah! Shit, hold on. Ugh, it's one of those games where when I go full screen on it, it causes all my windows to shift to the right. So, uh, this is... The Frost? And I guess we'll find out what that means. Wait, survival. There's a survival mode for this? Escape, I guess? What are we escaping and where are we escaping to? Okay. Wait, let me check something. Damn, it's impressive how the plane crashed like this, and it didn't affect any of the nearby trees. Also, I don't know how this is displaying on screen, but it is really lagging for me. Oh, oh no. There is a half-second delay on all of my keyboard inputs. This is not going to be fun.
So as far as I can tell, based on the title, the frost is the enemy? Oh. <laughs> it very suddenly got dark. Well, I see movement. Uh, um... How do I read? I mean, it's obviously just scribbles, but how do I... Wait, what? Water? Oh, I'm scrolling through my inventory, I guess. Okay. Okay, good. There's controls here. Wait a minute, it said H was... H press to use flashlight. M press to use map. Uh, neither of those are working. Hold on, I'm hitting every key on the keyboard. Wait, which key was that? <laughs> what what was that supposed to be? Was that like Drake's disgruntled brother who was mad that he didn't get in the Uncharted games? Food. Sure. Okay. Good, we're crouching. Um Wait, let me check something. Okay, F is the use key. I misread that. Well, wow, it's the exact same note from before. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Why are we going for a tractor pull? I apologize for doing that. E excuse me? I don't know which part of that to react to first. The audio keeps very suddenly changing. And the water looks nice, at least. Uh, 
Oh, oh. God, that keeps throwing me off. The water keeps suddenly going into stealth mode. Wait a minute, let me check something. I can make out the words in sauce. And that, well... Oh, it says it's food now. It was saying it was water before. Bootleg Skyrim. Oh, man. Can we even make that comparison? Okay, it's calling this water. Even though that looks like a soda can. Yeah, you can see the pull tab. Wow, that food popped in from about 15 feet away. That's how you know it's good. How much food and or water have we collected at this point? Because I'm seeing drops for those constantly. We probably have more food than the main character weighs. This, so I wasn't going to mention this before, but down there it made sense building it alongside the waterfall. You built this shit directly in the waterfall? Do I need to explain why this is a bad idea? You know, that is a fair point, Mozzie. Maybe this is just someone really wanting to show off their water effects. So much so that, that they're actually forcing us to just go directly into it. Wow, what a fantastic map. What's with the the cave, the X, and the D? Oh, and I, I, I glossed over the biggest point here, the wat turfall. So what does the key go to? We'll presumably find out at some point. Right now I'm trying to see if I can scale the rest of the waterfall. Which has a surprising amount of plant life.
Ah, he actually thought to put a wall up here. Unlike that other developer. Is there fall damage? Let's find out. Yes, oh, okay, yes there is. <laughs> well, this is where my story ends. Oh, am I going to have to do all of that again? Is there a checkpoint system? Yeah, there's no checkpoint system. I have to go through all of that again. So, hmm. I would say, do we want to go through all that again? But in truth, we weren't actually playing it for that long. Why does he just stop running at certain points? Exactly, Harid. You couldn't make something like this in Unity. Like, no one has ever made a game where you just wander around a big-ass open map and really don't do much of anything in Unity. So what happens if I just ignore the note and walk straight to where this guy went in. Oh, I can't. Damn it. I gotta ruin my fun. Wait, was that flash that appeared before we got knocked out? Okay, it was just this room. Also, this place is a piece of shit. It's snowing indoors. Again, don't know if that's supposed to be scary or not. Which is kind of a running theme for the night, not knowing whether you're supposed to be scared of anything. Gonna do this again, we're gonna do it right. This game really wanted to be a killjoy by not having any checkpoints or save systems. So, what is the key supposed to go to? I take it we 
follow this path to the tunnel. Or, but is the key for the village or the tunnel? The answer is probably yes. How much do you want to bet that the death from before wasn't from fall damage, but from touching the water? I have a feeling that might be it. Who's that guy walking? Did you see that? Guy walking through the hill with his arm way out to the side? I'm gonna assume I'm just not supposed to talk to people. Don't talk to strangers, kids. Can I wield the fishing pole? I suppose not. justified with coming after me if they decide to, because I keep stealing all of their food and water. This is the DLC for Village. Uh, I mean, Village is on the map. <gasps> this is the development roadmap they were talking about. You did it, Haru. You cracked the code. Now, where is this tunnel I'm supposed to go into? Oh boy. Wait, are those supposed to be blood stains? How? And why do they very suddenly cut off on a different part of the rock? I mean, I know it's because the texture changed, but why? This. Please tell me this leads to the tunnel. It doesn't look like it led to anything. Great. Unless I'm just supposed to keep running into the woods like an asshole. Wait, what? What happened? Why is my foot so big? Where are we going? Ground control to Major Tom. Okay, we finally stopped moving. <sighs> this is 
also, was that fall damage? Did we get clubbed by somebody? I didn't see anybody. Either way, I think I've stopped caring for this game. I don't know about you. Oh, hi, Angel. No, I can't get on Rise. I need to... do this. Because I haven't done it in a very long time. Ugh. I don't know about you, but I don't care anymore with this game. The first death was dumb, the second death was dumber, and I do not want to see the dumbest. Also, for whatever reason, that game ran to- Ah! Oh, forced all my windows to one side again. Also, for whatever reason, that caused, like, OBS to chug hard. I mean, I know it's probably because of, you know, CryEngine, but still. So, I have one more. And the one more is a game I specifically went for, because... Actually, let me double-check this, because I don't want to give false information. Yeah. I saved the game that had mostly negative ratings for last. Mostly as in 38% liked it. Alright, let's jump into this. Oh, it would help if I actually had the correct window going. Made with Unity. Great. I'm encouraged already. God, this music sounds like when I'm trying to come up with a melody on a keyboard and I just can't find anything, but I keep going in the hopes that I do. Wait, is the eject button the quit button? Oh. It is. Alright, let me open this again. Did you do the one you got me months ago? You'll have to be more specific. But I think that I did. So. Start is apparent what it does. Question mark is apparent. That's settings. What is the star? Let's find out. But... Oh, that's the credits, the incredibly blurry credits. Uh, that's, why is the close button the clearest thing in that? So let me check the settings real quick. Well, the quality is at zero, which doesn't fill me with hope. Oh, the languages are... For once, Russian is not a language option. It's English and... I think Chinese? This character and this character look familiar. But I know it's not Japanese. Let's, let's see what we have to offer. Uh, I don't think decadent means what you think it does.
Oh, pfft. That was all the music had, I guess. What? Snow, flies, sparks. Dust? It's one of those things, and I can't tell which. Rotation ratchets. It so it so it has keys to rotate like a certain de amount, like 45 degrees, but sometimes they just don't work. Let's see, Catherine Watson, 15 years old. Why am I stuck here? The answer is apparently I'm 15 years old. That took a twist I wasn't expecting. Also, ugh. Can I just adjust the... Okay, I thought the game was going to close itself, because I hit escape, and it hung for a really long time. Uh, no, there is not an option to adjust the sensitivity? What is happening? I tried hitting back to go into the game, but... The cursor is stuck in the middle of the screen, and everything has stopped working. Oh. Wait. Okay, my mouse is locked in the center of the screen, so I can't pick any of the options now. see. You're hungry, but you also need to find a way to the exit. You're hungry and there's dirt everywhere. Well, if there's dirt everywhere and you're hungry, I have an idea. Oh. Pff. <laughs> Are these like the Halloween spiders? I mean, I... I can understand being a little lazy about leaving your decorations up, but not this lazy. Oh my god. I have to keep, like, doing several, like, pick up and drags with the mouse to be able to just look to the side. Whoa. Okay, we got a physics engine at work. The Kitty Pride physics engine, because we can just phase this through everything. Also, there was an explanation of what to do with this, but it disappeared too quickly, and now I don't know how to properly pick this item up. As in, like, put it in my inventory. Oh, pfft. So you just slam the key into the door and it works.
But this game is trying to do something. I, it doesn't seem like it's working, but it's trying. You're hung we already went over this. Eat the rat. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Um, are you using that? Oh. Oh! Uh... What? I'm not sure what that was supposed to be. Probably didn't help that most of it happened slightly off camera. Gee, thanks. Looks like if Edward Carnby were a high school girl. And possessed. No thanks, I'm more of a fan of a lollipop chainsaw. So am I supposed to find a lollipop and a compass? Oh yes, yes I am. <laughs> Was this really necessary? Um, what? Well, that's the recurring theme. Is this supposed to be scary? I mean, that wasn't spooky. That was just poor infrastructure. All right. This convoluted system. <laughs> really powerful hammer. Wait a minute, this looks like just where I came from before. Oh no, they're just reusing several assets already. I mean, can I bring her the car tire instead? She might appreciate that more. Alright, we're fetch questing already.
What was... You see that light? Was that a graphical hiccup or was that supposed to be something? Oh, that was the symbol above her head. Oh, that that gave us the geometric shape. I mean, the compass. Oh, I take it I was supposed to do that first. Well, we sequence broke the game, I guess. Not sure whether to make a Bioshock reference or a Silent Hill 3 reference. So, hi, Tenebra. I did notice you, it's just... Whoa. Okay, so there's something I didn't mention about this game. Which is... Uh, it's also playable in VR. Which is why you're getting this kind of fisheye effect at times. Also, the compass is completely off-screen. All right, uh... Tutorial done, I guess. Oh, uh, the lurching frame rate is actually part of the stream. I should indicate that. That's not the game. The game is actually running smoothly, but OBS is chugging hard on it for some reason. Wait a minute. This is the... Okay, the beginning of the level was exactly the same as the previous one, which threw me off. Thanks for that, game. Wait, where Is this the same level and it just spawned me in a different part of it for some reason? So they just did the same thing except they replaced the chair with most of a person. <gasps> and a ketchup bottle! Okay, now it's spooky. It's <sighs> a fucking lollipop hunt, really?
<laughs> Wait, what? Um, I don't think it was supposed to work like that. By the way, just to point this out, it's. Uh, I think there was supposed to be stereo sound, but it was mono through my headphones, so I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Okay, now I'm confused about the layout of this place. Excuse me? <laughs> I have a feeling that's not supposed to happen. Now, you might think this is a glitch, but in truth, it's actually just demonstrating how crazy the protagonist really is. So crazy, in fact, that you can't tell. Is that actually their head? Or do they just have, like, a black stocking thing under the mask covering up their neck? Well, part of their neck, because part of it seems to still be sticking out of the body. Oh, I see. The fisheye thing is happening when you get spotted by them. Whatever this is. So, um, how do we approach this? Is the mask just Frank from Darnie Darko? You know what? I haven't actually seen Donnie Darko. I'm going to look up an image of that right now. Oh wow, that's actually kind of close. Well, some of these are kind of close. <laughs> Who's chasing who? God, this is stupid. Uh, I can't see that text. <laughs> I got an achievement for something, but I don't know what. Also, I'm lost. I'm just gonna follow a wall and hope that it leads me somewhere. Oh wow, this is the exact same layout of items from before. So they really are just copy-pasting the same stuff over and over in a slightly different arrangement. I got another achievement, 
somehow. Oh, it finally caught me. Because I bumped into the desk. Let's try that again. Maybe I'm the monster? How dare you? I mean, you're probably right, but how dare you? Excuse me? <laughs> what? I am so confused. That is true, the game did warn about nausea. Well, uh, we found it, eventually. I have no idea where to take it now. And I have no idea what that was supposed to be. I don't know how this thing paths around. I don't know if it's just going to eventually follow the same path as me. Actually, can I get around it from here? Probably not, but I'll try it anyway. No, you can't. You're not digging this Dead by Daylight update? What do you mean? I mean, you have... Bunny. And Lollipop. What more do you want? What more do you need?
See, I don't know if that music, those little stings mean I'm about to be spotted, or like, if it's just the game trying to screw with you and not particularly succeeding. Why does the Colossal Shadow look like such a guido? Was that rude? I'm sorry. Oh good. Childless Shadow looks exactly like the normal Shadow. The lollipop compass thing, just the way it's drawn, is making me think of Rule of Rose. And all I can think is, wow, Rule of Rose actually plays much, much better than this. Plus there's actually shit that happens in that that is, whoa, what is going on with that floor texture? You see that? Like right above the reticle? How that part of the floor just stays the same, but shifts across the floor? What is that? Yeah. I mean, it's a really flawed game, but I like it for what it is. Which is expensive, is what it is. Um, what? First time seeing one of those things. Uh, uh hello, Mr. Grimm. <sighs> Do we bother? Have I really been playing this for half an hour? Jeez. Wait, does it keep changing the map? Because this is not how it was laid out before. Oh, that's gonna make things annoying.
Who the hell are you? No kids. So I'll give you the ink and then you give me contraceptive? Is that how this works? Oh, no. See, I thought that at first, Tenebra, but I... Th the map is not laid out the same. Like, this NPC was in a completely different spot before. Granted, it's hard to tell because everything looks the same. Oh, I couldn't tell what that was. Couldn't have thought of a better way to do that? Okay, sure. Does this count as ink? Probably not, but I'll try it anyway. Oh, it does? Okay, we got the no kid. I don't know what that- Oh my god, your neck! Ma'am! Ma'am, what happened? you to chime in with the who are you oh yeah she looks like a no mercy creator oh I didn't even think of that and now I won't be able to think of anything but that. For the record, there is no run button. <sighs> How many levels of this did they make? Marilyn Monroe, why? <laughs> Just 
Give all the shadows. As many shadows as you can think of. Good idea, bad idea, doesn't matter. Oh, I'm gonna have to hear that laugh the entire stage. Now it's getting to the point where there are so many shadows, it's getting hard to move around the level. I'll try this one more time. How about we just make a break for the exit and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Excuse me? What? Wait, what happened? Uh... We'll call that the canon ending. There was nothing around me and I just died. Oh, well, let's go. Come on, no. It won't let me move the mouse around to get back to the main menu. So you know what that means. Good old force close. Ugh. Reminded of why I took a long break from Fearless. <laughs> but I do want to do these somewhat more regularly. The problem is just I still have a massive backlog of games I recorded in this series. That the videos just haven't come out yet. My backlog is still such that I could do one Fearless video a week. Just nothing but that. And I wouldn't run out of stuff for, I want to say, three months. But it was good to get back into this habit. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to stream tomorrow just because it looks like I'm going to be much busier than I thought I would be. But... Assuming I can stream tomorrow, I'll probably do some Trackmania again. I was going to do something for the NES, but I'm doing something with um, everything uh, 
God, I completely blanked on what I was going to say. All of my consoles that use uh, composite inputs, I'm doing something with that to try and make things simpler, because the system I have now is really jank. So that's one of my little side projects. Um, other than that, thanks for hanging out for a little bit. Do not get these games for the Steam Summer Sale, even though they're all under a dollar. And take care.